So Aboriginal people lived on this area here for, for thousands of years, tens of thousands of years. And fire was a big part of Aboriginal culture and society. So over tens of thousands of years, people had to understand how to use fire as, as part of their, their way of living. So it became very important for Aboriginal people to understand fire and how to use it correctly. Um, so this side here you can see some interesting things that have happened as a result of the fire and some of those things uh, would, would have been the same things that Aboriginal people were trying to achieve with their use of fire. So fire was used to, to clear country, partly for ease of travel but also for the benefits of hunting that the fire can provide. So the fire can improve plant food for animals, grazing animals that will come, and in turn those animals can then be hunted. So you, you can see in this place here where it's very grassy, there's a lot of green growth, a lot of fresh edible plant material, and animals would have come to eat that. Also the diversity that's created from the fire creates an abundance of particular plant species that Aboriginal people understood would have emerged through regular burning. But over a long period of time people needed to understand that fire, while it is a tool that's used for benefit, can also be very destructive. So people needed to understand how to use fire carefully and with respect. Um, hot big fires can cause a lot of damage to plants and animals. So it was necessary to understand the careful application uh, sustainably over you know, tens of thousands of years that didn't cause long-term destruction.